off the top at six and only on CBS 11. The landlord telling his side of the story is hundreds of residents face evictions from homes that he owns. And now the owner of HMK is sharing something no one knew before about negotiations with the city of Dallas. Jack Fink has the story from West Dallas. This business is closed. That will not change. Krish Krish says even though he's shutting his rental housing business, he's willing to allow the more than 300 families to stay in until after the school year ends. But that's on one key condition. If the city simply agrees to keep code compliance and its other legal resources from citing me, fining me, penalizing me for keeping my houses open, I will be more than willing to allow my tenants to stay longer. Gracious company told tenants they had to be out by the end of the month, but a judge recently blocked that until he can have a hearing November 7th. The city has previously taken HMK to court for substandard conditions, and at least one resident sued the company. The uh, plaintiffs call you the most prolific slumlords in Dallas County. What's your reaction to that? Is that true? Of course not. Would you admit that the houses that you have now that people rent from are in terrible condition? I would take exception with the word terrible. Is there room for improvement? Of course. Of course, but there are economic realities. If I am to invest more money into my properties, I must charge higher rents that my tenants cannot afford. One tenant, Carter Milam, who had to retire early because of a disability, says that's true. Most of them will shut the door in their face, but they won't even hear about it. Not on what the monies that I make. He would like to stay, but is preparing to move out Monday. As for the deal Kreish proposed to the city, Mayor Mike Rawlings doesn't want to talk about it. As I said earlier, I'm not going to be negotiating real time on all that. The ball is in the city's court. I am more than willing to be a good partner. And Krish says he has a long-term plan. He says he has offered to sell all 305 properties to Habitat for Humanity so they can build homes. And Habitat CEO told me today he's interested. The landlord says he's willing to sell some other houses he owns to tenants that he would finance. Krish says he's also proposed to the city building an assisted living facility and affordable housing in this same area. But he would need help from taxpayers. Live in West Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.